Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Java program to handle mouse events as well as mouse motion events in Java. First, we need to import a few of the libraries like uh, we need to import java.awt.star. Second one is java.applet and third one is java.awt.event in this case. After this, we need to create a class. Uh, you can name it this particular class according to your wish. In this case, I have named it as a mouse event demo. Here, we need to extend the applet class and then we need to implement the listener interfaces. In this case, I want to handle two events. One is called as mouse event. Another one is called as mouse motion uh, event in this case. So I have to implement mouse uh, listener as well as mouse motion listener in this case. Now, uh, these are the two interfaces I want to handle here. Now, uh, coming back to this particular, uh, the two data members, one is called as message. Initially, I don't have any message here. It is a blank and uh, the position x position and y position is set to zero. The meaning of this one is uh, uh, initial. These are the initial values of this particular data members here. And as and when a particular event has happened, the value of this particular message will change and the position will change. Accordingly, we will display those particular messages over here. Now, the very important part of this particular program is the initialization. That is nothing but we need to register the event we want to handle. In this case, I want to handle a mouse event. Another one is a mouse motion event. So you have to register those two events. To register, we have to use this particular syntax that is add mouse listener. That is for mouse event. Second one is add mouse motion listener. That is for mouse motion event in this case. So in this case, I want to handle uh, two events. So those are the two events I have registered here. Now, once I have registered these events and uh, I have I have to implement these two interfaces, that is mouse uh, listener as well as mouse motion listener in this case. Mouse listener has uh, five methods and uh, mouse motion listener has uh, two methods. Because we are trying to implement these interfaces, we have to write the definition for all those particular methods. This is the first uh, method in uh, mouse listener that is mouse clicked. Whenever you click an, a, a particular button on this particular mouse, it will generate an object of mouse event that will be passed as a parameter to mouse clicked. And uh, you will get two things that is get X will give you the current X position and get Y will give you the current Y position. And I have initialized the value of msg to mouse clicked and then I will call this particular repaint method. So what this repaint method will do is whatever the content of uh, the screen is there, it will be erased and then this content will be drawn here. So just go and see what is the paint method first. If you go and see the paint method at the last I have written here, uh, public wide paint, it will accept a parameter of uh, graphics class that is a graphics class object. Next, I have set the size of this particular window that is 500 by 300 and then G dot draw string. This will draw a string on that particular window. That's the first one is message. Second one is X position and Y position. So initially message is nothing. We have set the message is equal to null. X position and Y position were 0, 0. Now, when you click a particular button on this particular mouse, a mouse event will be generated and this mouse clicked uh, method will be called. So you will get the current X and Y position here. You will get the message in this uh, that's a mouse clicks message in this MSG variable. And then we call this particular repaint. So at the current X and Y position, mouse clicked will be displayed here. Similarly, what you can do is you can press and hold that particular mouse button. In such case, mouse uh, event will be generated. That is the object of mouse event again. And then you will get current and uh, X and Y position in X and Y position here. The message is pressing the mouse button in this case. Again, we are going to release everything, uh, erase everything from that particular window and then draw this particular new message. Similarly, mouse released. Mouse release is nothing but what you click and then release that particular mouse. That is nothing but a mouse released. An object of mouse event will be generated again. You will get current X and Y position you will get this particular message that is releasing the mouse button in this case. Again, we will erase everything from the window and then we will display this particular new message here. 
Coming back to the next two methods from that mouse event, one is called as mouse entered and another one is called as mouse exited. Uh, mouse entered will not give you the current x and y position. So we will initialize the current x and y position to some values like uh, 0 for x position and uh, y, uh, 190 for y position. You can mention anything here. At this particular position, this message will be displayed. That is mouse entered in this case. Similarly, x position is set to 0, y position is equal to 190. Whenever mouse goes out of that particular window, you will get a mouse exited message in this case. Coming back to the next two methods, that is uh, mouse dragged and uh, mouse uh, moved. These two methods are coming from a mouse motion listener or a mouse uh, motion in event, you can say. Uh, what, will, what will happen in this case is again, uh, an object of mouse event will be generated and then uh, mouse uh, dragged method will be called here. You will get uh, the current X and Y position in x and uh, x position and y position here and then you will display this message that is dragging the mouse at current x position and y position now as and when you go on moving this particular uh, mouse you will get new values of x and y and those party things will be displayed here it continuously goes on displaying that particular new message that is the dragging the mouse at new x and y position will be displayed here this will be called whenever you hold that particular mouse button and then move your mouse button there is one more thing is the mouse mode. Mouse mode is less just moving a mouse J rather than just uh, clicking. You just move that particular mouse within the window. You will uh, this particular method will be called in that case. Again, you will get the current X and Y position. You will display this particular message that is moving mouse at X position and Y position in this case. So finally, a repaint method will be called over here. Now repaint method, as I said earlier, it will erase everything from the window and then this new message will be displayed here. Now we will try to execute this particular thing. I will right click on this particular thing and then I will click on uh, select this particular run as and then click on Java applet here. Uh, it will ask you to click on OK button and then you can see here a window will be generated of size 500 by 300, 500 horizontal pixels, vertically 300 pixels here. Now you can see here mouse is present outside. So that's the reason you can see here mouse exited message in this case. As and when I will bring this particular mouse within this particular thing, the mouse mood event will be generated and moving mouse at so and so point will be displayed to you. I hope you can see that particular thing. Now if I hold this particular mouse button and then if I drag it, you can see here dragging mouse will be uh, message will be displayed. That is nothing but mouse dragged event is executed. Now if I click this particular thing, uh, I have pressed and hold it. I am getting uh, pressing the mouse button. And then if I click this particular thing, you can see here mouse clicked message. If I release in, uh, when I release no, you will get that particular message, but uh, you will be getting that particular clicked at the end of the day here. So in this uh, program, what we did is uh, we tried to handle mouse event uh, with respect to uh, mouse as well as mouse motion here. So we have uh, registered these two events here and then we have implemented these two interfaces. One is called as mouse listener and other one is called as mouse motion listener in this case. Mouse listener has uh, five methods as I said earlier. Uh, one is mouse clicked, second one is mouse pressed, third one is mouse released, fourth one is mouse entered, fifth one is mouse exited. And coming back to the motion listener, we have uh, two things, mouse dragged and another one is mouse mode in this case now uh, i hope you know this particular thing because we are trying to implement an interface we have to write the definition for every method which is registered in that interface so as i said earlier mouse listener has five methods we have to write the definition for all five here let us assume that i will remove the definition for this mouse clicked if i remove it you will get an error message here saying that mouse clicked message method is not implemented here so that is the reason whenever you uh, implement any interface you have to write the definition for every method in this case if you don't have anything to write in this particular method you can leave it but you have to have this particular definition here so at least this particular thing is required and if you have some method to or content to write you can write it but if you don't have any content also you have to write that particular method signature and then opening and closing braces over here so this is a very simple program to handle the mouse events i hope the concept is clear if you have any questions related to event handling you can put those particular questions in the comment box i will try to answer those questions at the earliest thank you for watching